Kick ass facts, pew, pew, pew. Part two of just because you can does not mean you should. Stubbins Firth, Stubbins, it's a great name, was a medical student who believed that yellow fever wasn't contagious. To prove it, he tried some awful experiments on himself at the turn of the 19th century. For, goes her streaming. Adorbs. Firth cooked yellow, oh, trigger warning. Firth cooked vomit from yellow fever patients on his stove and breathed in the vapors. He dropped the vomit into his eye into an incision he had made into his left arm and put drops of a patient's blood serum into his left leg. Eventually, he was basically... I fucking love that kid. Basically, he was drinking shots of black vomit straight. He described the taste as very slightly acidic. How did Firth manage to ingest all of this without getting sick? Well, we now know the yellow fever is spread mostly by mosquitoes. We also know that it can be spread from human to human through direct bloodstream contact. However, the black vomit and other bodily fluids Firth used likely did not contain any active yellow fever virus by the time he exposed himself to them. The virus does not survive well outside the human body or in dried fluids for extended periods of time, reducing the chance of infection through his methods. Stubbins. In the early 1990s, eight scientists sealed themselves into a 3.14 acre structure in Arizona. The highly publicized $200 million experiment was known as Biosphere 2. And according to one of the scientists involved, its goals included education, ecotechnology development, and learning how well our eco laboratory worked. But the scientists ran into several problems that required outside interference in order to continue the experiment, including a lack of sunlight that affected the crops, over a third of the planet and animal species originally introduced into the biosphere too died out. There was a cockroach infestation. Could you imagine not being able to get not being able to get out? An injured crew member had to temporarily leave for treatment and insufficient oxygen. So it failed. Remember Biodome? Polly Shore? Viva Los Biodome. I'm not ashamed to admit that I enjoyed that movie. In 1901, Duncan McDougall conducted experiments on extremely recently deceased people and dogs to see if their body weight changed immediately after death. A decrease in weight, he theorized, would be indicative of a physical soul leaving the body. To test this theory, he weighed six people before and after their deaths and concluded that there was a weight difference anywhere from half to one and a half ounces. He repeated the experiment on dogs and found no difference. By McDougall's reasoning, dogs have no souls. His experiments are widely regarded as flawed for several reasons. Small sample size, crude methodology, and there are physiological reasons for the weight change, confirmation bias, to name but a few. Psychoanalyst Wilhelm Reich was influenced by Sigmund Freud's work on the human libido. Reich extended the concept to propose a kind of widespread energy he called orgon. Orgon? Orgon? Tomato, tomato. Orgon had been compared to the force in Star Wars. The force in Star Wars. This energy was supposedly responsible for everything from weather to why the sky is blue. Reich believed orgasms were a discharge of orgon and that through the manipulation of this energy, you could treat neuroses and even cancer. Sounds like a Facebook ad. Reich went even further in the late 1950s when he became convinced that aliens were spraying the earth with a specific type of radiation to prevent us from using this powerful energy. In order to save the world, he and his son built cloud busters, a row of tubes attached to hoses immersed in water and aimed at the sky. The water, they believed, would absorb the radiation. Did the experiment work? We don't know for sure. Microsoft launched an AI chatbot named Tay on Twitter in 2016, designed to interact with people and learn from those interactions. Within 24 hours, internet trolls manipulated Tay into posting offensive and inappropriate content. This incident highlighted the lack of foresight in releasing a learning AI without adequate safeguards, demonstrating the risks of deploying AI without considering potential misuse. Aside from the trolling, for fuck's sakes, people, have we learned nothing from Terminator, iRobot, War Games, Blade Runner, 2001 A Space Odyssey? Don't let the machines win. Nice phone, nice phone.